Let's talk about one of my favorite brands, Stussy. I've always said, and I maintain on this particular podcast, I think if you're a kid out there and you're obsessed with streetwear just as much as I am, and you feel like sometimes you miss out on a lot of the Supreme drops and some of the other things and bobs that you want to purchase out there, I think a really underrated and sometimes overlooked brand that you should always go to if you're looking for something that maybe isn't as bait as Supreme, but is maybe a little bit more easier to get, but also isn't as like super readily available everywhere. I think the perfect balance is Stussy. Stussy provides the perfect balance of being able to buy it relatively easy, knowing that not every Tom, Dick and Harry is going to have it and also having it be a little bit cool. It's honestly sick. Like this new era of Stussy in the last few years, the new direction they've been under, the consistency of the offerings they've been putting out has been nothing short of marvelous. And they continue once again with full 2024 collection. There's a few bits and pieces on this collection that I want to highlight and talk about, namely this jacket here. Um, which is the first slide courtesy of Hypebeast. It's a navy jacket that's kind of like got like a distressed look to it. I'd maybe call it a flight jacket without the hood. But what I really do love about it are these super exaggerated, almost obscene pockets on the front. They look like they should be pockets for, they should look should be like hand pockets that go towards the bottom, but they've just been like blown up to cover the majority of the fucking front of the jacket. So I really fucking love that look and it kind of gives it like a utilitarian kind of feel. So I'm a really big fan of that as well. Obviously the big old jeans everyone's wearing now, I'm not really too fond of them, but I think as a styling thing, it kind of works. I'm kind of over this whole like obsession with everybody wearing big jeans and jorts and shit. It's just a bit ugly. I'd probably just wear regular jeans. I'm not going to wear that super baggy unnecessary jeans with that one. Um, there's a nice track jacket here or shell jacket that I kind of like. Um, this, this, um, the, 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 in slide three, the thing I like the best here are these pants. I'm not too sure what the finish is on the actual pant. I'm not sure if that's like meant to echo some of the um, flakiness and the, what you call it, the scratches on the wall. Maybe that's what they've kind of replicated on the pants. I don't know. Maybe it's a different distress sort of lever effect. I don't know. Whatever the effect is, I fucking love it. They look fucking cool there. So I really am a big fan of those pants. There's a really nice um, Stussy knit with the tonal Stussy embroidery here on the front or tonal Stussy. Um, logo print here on the front which i'm not a fan of which i'm not a big which i actually love there's also a pair of black shorts with a nice stussy hit there on the right which i'm not too mad at um this is one of my favorite jackets one of my favorite looks here this is um slide five you have this really fucking cool grid see-through jacket see-through shell jacket i'm not too sure if it's waterproof water resistant I'm not really too sure it kind of gives me like a packable feel I feel like there's probably like a pocket on the inside where you can kind of fold it into itself and kind of carry it around your waist and shit or put it in your bag. But I love the fact that it's got this like, I think what it looks like a 3M Stussy script logo on the back. I think it's 3M. I think so. And maybe the lines actually on the top is actually 3M too. But I what I love most about it is the translucent, transparent effect of the material. So that if you're wearing a different pattern or a different shirt, color, whatever underneath, you get the addition of the cool colorway on the top that kind of goes through but you also get your whatever top you're wearing underneath kind of peeks through as well and kind of gives it this nice little tone when you're wearing it so i love that i also love these cargo pants that they that they've made susie these black cargo pants he's wearing they kind of look distressed but i love the baggy look about them because a lot of the cargo pants i have nowadays well i think cargo pants in general i think that's how they're basically styled or how they're meant to be made a lot of cargo pants will have a lot of bagginess around the thigh and the leg area but when it comes to the waist they're incredibly cinched and sometimes high-waisted so i would love to see a lot more people or brands just make cargo pants that are just like regular trousers and kind of just are a bit wide at the top as well to kind of give it a nice bellowing look overall and not have this kind of cinched sort of like carrot top sort of like look to it so i do like that they've done that with these particular ones here and this particular one is done like this black distress sort of colorway which i really am a big fan of i really love those um i'm not really big on the jorts i'm not i hate fucking jorts i think shorts should come above your knees i'm fed up with the baggy jorts look but i do love the sunglasses here i think stussy have done a really good job with their sunglass offerings over the last few years as well so i'm not mad at that um, the knitwear here, I'm not really too fussed on. The jean suit, I'm not really too fussed on. I love the leather, the green, that green washed out avocado-ish type leather thing going on here. That's pretty nice as well. Um, this shirt, I'm not too sure what the pattern is, but this shirt is really fucking cool. It's a button-up shirt, a pinstripe button-up shirt. And what it looks like to me, maybe it's just my eyes, but this pinstripe button-up shirt has like 
bleach blotches i think that's what basically it's got it looks like it's been either exposed to light or it's got bleach blotches around it so it's kind of got this effect of like a cow print thing all over it which i really fucking love so i'm not too mad at that and also the cut of the shirt is really nice as well it's a nice and baggy shirt to wear there's also a nice leather shorts here again which i'm not a fan of but i do like this mohair fluffy zip hoodie that they've got here in what's that was that slide uh, 11 and of course the glasses here look really cool um, the hooded jacket there looks not too bad. Also, the trucker hat, I'm not too mad at as well. That trucker hat looks really fucking cool. I'd wear the fuck out of that also. And one of my favorite pieces, one of my favorite pieces is this. It's like a, ra it's a racing jacket, essentially. But instead of the conventional racing jacket, which is just a regular black leather jacket, you've got it in this lovely washed out i don't know what you call it avocado green type of colorway it's i guess it's meant to be lime green but it's a little bit more uh, light lighter in terms of a color not as much pop and i would actually purchase this over the black one i'm sure the black one looks amazing but i think you're more likely to find another version of this particular jacket in black from a loads of other designers but you're not likely to find this jacket style in this particular color this is a very unique color and definitely stands out and definitely is a highlight piece for this season. I fucking love the look of that. Really do love the look of that. That might be one of the best pieces so far in the collection. And also the first jacket that I mentioned in the Navy also comes in this nice khaki colorway that kind of reminds me of a Stussy jacket or a CP company jacket. I love that it's got this nice distressed look about it, the exaggerated pockets. I also love the detail here. So they've got these really big pockets that are just exaggerated and kind of oversized. Um, but then you also have the addition of a pockets on the slits on the side. So you get a chance to kind of put your hands in the pockets there um, and keep your hands warm if need be. Or you also, and you also get the functionality of having the big flap here to stick other things inside. So it's quite nice. Cause I don't know about you, but sometimes you know, I love carrying my backpack and carrying my fucking messenger bags and my waist bags and my fucking tote bags and my handbags and shit. But sometimes it's nice if you have a jacket that just has like an obscenely big pocket. It can just allow you to just put all your shit in there. Like my camera, my lip balm, my gun, my knife, everything can kind of go in that one pocket. So you have to carry an extra bag. So I think this, this sort of like crazy pocket design sort of works for someone like me that's on the go and carrying a, mid, a million things on me at one time. So I'm not mad at that as well. And I love, absolutely, I'm in love with this logo. This classic fucking artwork on the back of this knitwear where it features the old school Stussy um, design of the like four illustrations with the surfboards. Ooh, hoo, hoo so hard that is such a good logo now i'm not too sure if this is a cardigan or if it's a sweat or if it's a knitwear jumper or something but whatever it is this is fucking hard like can you imagine that on the back of a varsity jacket can you imagine this particular design with this particular design that font at the back of a varsity jacket just give me an all black varsity jacket with this particular thing this a particular applique on the back Woohoo! i'm wearing the fucking fuck out of that one and then another really big standout piece in the full winter 2024 collection is this buttery, buttery leather trench coat. Look at that. Look at how sublime that looks. That's probably going to be bucks, probably going to be like $500 plus, maybe $700 plus, but it looks so fucking nice. And I love that it buttons up all the way onto the top. So you don't need to have the annoying sort of like lapels hanging on the side if you want to just button it up and kind of look like undertaker you can it's fucking gorgeous nice nice jacket i don't it doesn't the only the only miss i don't like about it it's not it doesn't have wrangling sleeves it has this regular sleeve design i feel like sometimes with trench coats having a wrangling sleeve design can like sometimes ease the shoulder and kind of make it a bit sloped and not make it look a little bit so super you know federal and shit but sometimes i guess if you want a trench coat you kind of want it to have presence you kind of want it to look federal you kind of want your chest your shoulders to pop out but i sort of like my trench coats with a wrangland sleeve preferably but still i don't mind that um this plaid shirt is super hard as well i'm not mad at that either i'm not sure if it's quilted no oh no nice it's a plaid shirt with snap buttons that's a really nice does that that could be easily used as an overshirt or as a shirt by itself I'm not mad at that at all. I'm not mad at that at all. Um, again, you've got a really nice long sleeve there in that kind of digi, digi desert camo effect design. And then you've also got the racing jacket I said earlier that comes in green and black. 
that is really fucking nice. I also like the belt as well. That belt is really nice. I'm sure that's part of the, the, the offering too. But that jacket is so fucking beautiful in black. I prefer it personally in green. I think the green will pop way more. But that black isn't too shabby. You've also got a denim jacket. And of course, you've got another plaid version there as well happening very, very soon. Oh, and the glasses look really cool as well. So big up, Stussy. Um, I think this is dropping this week, I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah, Stussy Full Winter Collection will be available to purchase on the August the 16th. So tomorrow will be available um, across the UK and, of course, Europe, America, blah, de, blah, blah, blah. Check out Stussy. You know where to find them for all of your Stussy needs. But Stussy are coming hard for their full 2024 collection. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I cannot wait.